Team Colorado, good day. Command Sergeant Major Woods and I just ended our 14-day quarantine after returning from Slovenia and want to discuss with you our war on COVID-19. Yes, folks, we're in a wartime posture to defeat COVID-19. As you see, we're practicing social distancing. We must take these measures seriously and our strategic goals of ready forces, partnerships, and people have now become protect the force, which includes you, your family, and all Americans. Ensure the mission, including our current combat operations in CENTCOM through our 24-7 Homeland Defense missions. And finally, support to our partners. Remember, our partnerships start local and grow internationally. Now we must focus on the state and nation. They need you. General Lowe and I are so very proud of the hard work that everyone has done to help with the response. Our National Guard soldiers and airmen have assisted local and state partners swabbing hundreds of Coloradans for the virus at drive-up testing sites throughout the state. This effort has limited the spread of disease within our communities while also gathering important data for our governor and partners. The Colorado National Guard was one of the first to report for duty at the State Emergency Operations Center. Governor Polis has declared a state of emergency, while the president has declared a national emergency. We will be with Coloradans throughout this crisis and any other, wherever the governor requires our support. Our enemy, COVID-19, is a silent enemy, as it can travel undetected. Early last week, we had a Colorado National Guard Task Force team member display symptoms and he was immediately put into isolation. The COVID test was positive. A few days later, three other members also had symptoms and they subsequently tested positive. As we came off mission, all Colorado National Guard members were tested with 16 more with no symptoms testing positive. One to four to 20 with 75% having zero symptoms. This spreads fast and you can be contagious without symptoms. All team members are now in quarantine or isolation. Our partnership with Fort Carson is strong and the 168th RTI is now being used to quarantine and isolate. Our first positive case was not from being on mission. He was screened and was asymptomatic when he joined the team. Let me say this again, COVID-19 is the enemy. We have faced insider threats like this in Afghanistan and Iraq. This enemy walks silently among us and can act quickly. It can spread without you ever knowing you are the source. For these reasons, we have instituted some very profound changes in the way we do business. While ensuring Homeland Defense, we have mandated social distancing, and instituted telework wherever possible. We have also ordered supplies for hand washing, sanitation, body temperature monitoring, and masks for when we must go on mission or continue our readiness operation. I must emphasize, if you feel sick, stay at home, period. We have implemented virtual drills where each unit can tailor training plans that you will accomplish at home. Get used to video conferencing, teleconferencing, and other means of holding meetings and communicating. We are executing two simultaneously plans that were least likely to happen. Our first plan is our pandemic response plan, and our second is continuity of operations. We have separated leaders, and everyone has a primary and a backup. By now, every soldier, airman, civilian, and state employee, and our partners should have been reached. You cannot communicate enough with your chain of command, up, down, and sideways. Please communicate, communicate, communicate. I must reiterate our priorities moving forward. We must first and foremost protect our people, you, your family, and all Americans. We must maintain mission readiness for all operations, and we must support the whole of government effort to defeat COVID-19. We need every member of the force to take action to protect yourself and those around you. 
We each have a role to play. We're all in this together, and we must do everything we can to help during the days and weeks ahead. From medical surge to logistics, transportation, we have the range of capabilities that our partners in this fight may need. Our local, state, federal, and tribal partners are counting on our training and combat skills, both soft and hard. The Guard brings unique skills to this fight. If you are available, we'd like to know about it and access not only your military skills, but your civilian ones as well. Our members are doing tremendous work. We are currently supporting six combatant commands, from space to special operations, while also supporting the state and federal COVID-19 response. You all do amazing things, and we thank each and every one of you. Lastly, let's keep affected service members and their families in our thoughts and prayers. More than ever, we need to take care of each other. Together, we will defeat this threat. Your, Your National, National Guard. Guard. Always ready, always there. Thank, Thank you. you.